on cloud with my annual precious metals market update. We're going to have a review today of what happened in 2017 and what I expect in 2018. You know, when you try to project a price, it's more of a trend for me. You try to see if everything out there shows the product's either moving up or down. And after two great years of uh, up for gold, um, we think this will be a third straight year. We had a nine point nine in 2016, and then in 2017, gold went up 13 and a half percent. As I did this last year, I predicted gold would go up 10 percent. So on that one, had a very good scorecard because gold went up 13 and a half percent. And um, I'm making a prediction this year for 2018 that once again will go up uh, over 10% and probably around 15%. There are a lot of things out there that are very positive for gold, including uh, a stock market that's overpriced by uh, indicators. Uh, we also see the Chinese yuan talking about being backed by gold as early as this summer, which could be a wrench. But the number one indicator always is the dollar value. And last year, the dollar went down over 3% against the basket of currencies. And you would expect it to go to go up 24% based on 8% up for every 1% down. But it only went up half of that. So this year, we think it's going to be a catch-up year. And look for a very strong 15% uh, year in gold. And I would recommend that you buy early while the while the premiums are low, because everywhere else in the world, Asia in particular, the premiums that you would have to pay if you wanted it stored in our facility that we're affiliated with in Singapore, you'd be paying a lot higher premiums. Silver was our disappointing metal for 2017. We predicted a 15% up, and it only went up 5.1%. But once again, it's not like that's terrible, but to me, it leaves room for a bigger appreciation in 2018. So I'm going out and saying that the silver this year will be the number one metal, and it will go up at least 15% for this fiscal year of 2018. And with the premiums right now, this, the sales that we have on uh, several silver products you're not going to see later in the year, I promise you. When we've seen things like one ounce silver philharmonics that were $2.35 to $2.45 over spot for all of 2017, and we now have a special for a dollar fifty-five over, that's less than I normally pay for them. Uh, so I would strongly recommend you take advantage of that and start cost averaging into silver if you haven't already because it could be and there are a lot of indicators that show uh, silver for, di for different industrial uses um, are going to be very strong demand not just for investor demand but for industrial demand if you look and say the economy is improving uh, the tech, uh, Trump tax cuts are going to drive the price up then certainly you want to get be buying silver because it could be uh, the one that gets takes off like Palladium did last year. Which brings us to our number one call last year, which was Palladium. We predicted it would be the number one metal, and it was. But little did I know it would go up 56% in 2017. We had many, many clients take advantage of that prediction last year and are still holding or have already cashed in and made 30, 40, 50% on that buy signal of January of last year. I do think Palladium's going to keep going up for another 15 or 20%, but I also think it will enter into uh, looking at converting your Palladium and moving into Platinum. Platinum, we predicted last year, would be the worst metal, and it was. It only went up 2.7%. We predicted it would go up 5%. Uh, so it's a pretty good call, actually. But as I tell you, you want to be ready because platinum and palladium, use, when you use them for catalytic converters, even though they can both be used, 
they have different melting points. So if you want to get ahead of the curve, it wouldn't be bad going to be buying a little platinum. I wouldn't go all in. If you're waiting on plating the top, I think you probably got about another 20, 25 percent up. It may all happen this year. It may go into 2019. But um, we're happy to talk to you about it if you'd like to call and uh, explain more why we like platinum long term, even though we're not bullish on it, real bullish on it this year, unless platinum makes a big jump uh, quickly. So uh, it's, it's a great year for metals. I mean, we still, business is slow. We still have these kind of appreciation with people out buying fiat uh, cryptocurrencies. We're seeing uh, Bitcoin take a 30% drop this year. Uh, certainly, I believe that blockchain technology is here for the long term. But at my stage of life, and most of my clients, you don't want to be playing a whole lot of R Russian roulette with cryptos. Remember, there's nothing to back them. It's strictly a fiat cryptocurrency. It's not like gold. It is real money. So uh, it's all going to revert back, and gold and silver are going to end up have the big numbers. And in my opinion, in 2018, we will have a cryptocurrency backed by gold. And uh, when that happens, I mean, it's going to be a move for gold and then eventually silver. I do not know of any cryptocurrencies right now that are being developed backed by silver. But we do know some being backed by gold that we feel will come to fruition during 2018. And the numbers I just gave you, my predictions, could become way wrong, just like I was way too short in palladium last year. So all I can tell you is don't let the stock market, yeah, keep buying the stock market, but be following the ratios and especially the, um, you know, the margins. When you see margin up in the uh, four, five, six hundred million dollar range as it is now, nothing good has ever happened. Just look at 1999 and 2007. And it's no different this time when people start buying $100,000 worth of stock and then putting their stock up for collateral to get 40000 more of the same stock. That is completely leverage. That's completely speculation. And I can promise you from 42 years, financial, well, more than that, financial experience, uh, good things won't happen. So uh, if you need to reach us, you can reach us at 800-247-2812. We have the lowest storage fees in the business. We're seeing huge amounts of money moving into the storage fee. And uh, big investors are buying gold. Big investors are buying silver. It's the little guy out there that's still trying to hit a home run on cryptocurrencies or uh, jumping into stocks and leverage them when every indicator historically is telling you yellow light, be careful. Not necessarily stop buying stocks, but just be very careful and look at the historical ratios. So hopefully we'll uh, have another update for you in 45 or 60 days. And uh, once again, you can reach us at 800-247-2812. And if you buy from us, you can even transfer your other holdings um, into our low, low, low storage uh, in COMEX warehouses. So you need, if you're paying, uh, you need to check our rates that we can't mention on the internet, but we can tell you if you'll give us a call. And hopefully by that. But uh, you're very fortunate. Steve has given you some incredible information lately about fiscal gold and silver. And uh, hopefully you read those articles. And we're in complete agreement with his analysis on that. So uh, if you reach us, give us a call. We can discuss it. Uh, this is Tom Cloud signing out with this year's 2018 predictions.